If you're watching this, you are probably staring at a similar exception right now. Let's try to debug this and get your problem solved. I got VS Code set up on the right side. Let me run this code and open a browser to set up my example. Here I'm using find elements to find all the menu items on this page. And then I'm gonna randomly pick, let's say item 100. I'm gonna print out item number and the name. And then I'm gonna try to click on the item. Let me run this code and see what happens. Looks like item R12 is the one being clicked. It's down here and I got the click exception. Let me see what it says down all the way at the bottom. It says element is not clickable at that point. Let me go back up and uh, clear the error. First thing to do is to verify that we actually have the element we want to click on. Rather than just the text, I'm going to print the HTML code of the whole element. Let me maximize this. The way to print the whole element is to print the outer HTML. Uh, I'm going to comment out the click, run the code. Here's the HTML of the element. Let me compare this to what's on the page to make sure that that is the right element. I'm going to hit F12 to bring up Chrome Dev Tools. That was R12. Click on the inspector. Find R12. Right, let's find an easier way to compare this. Copy outer HTML, paste it into Notepad, and then I'm going to copy what got printed out on VS Code, paste it on the bottom, and it looks identical. Good, looks like I'm referencing the right element. Next, we want to make sure that the element is really clickable. Let me maximize this, find all 12 again. Selenium will try to click the midpoint of the element, so right here in the middle, I click it, it works. I'm going to click maybe around the corners, the edges. It looks like wherever I click inside this box, it's going to work. Next, is there a delay before the element becomes clickable? When the page loads, does the element show up a split second later? There could be JavaScript code that executes to enable the element for clicking. It might happen so fast that you can't really see it visually. To check if this is the case, we can let the page load completely first, like what I have already loaded here. Then try clicking with Selenium. So that is not the problem of this example because I loaded the page separate from executing the clicking code. But if you find that that is your problem, you have to add a delay. So something like this, where you use the web driver wait function to wait for either the element to show up, the element to become visible, or the element to become clickable. The next thing to check is uh, if there is something floating on top of or overlapping the element. For example, you see on Best Buy's website on the bottom left here, there is a little floating icon. Now, depending on the size of the window, this icon could overlap the element that you want to click on. If this is your problem, you could play around with the window sizing so that the floating icon is no longer uh, overlapping your element. Or you could use Chrome Dev Tool. to get rid of the icon. So maybe around here and it's gone. If you want to get rid of the floating layer by code, let me refresh the page to bring it back first. Here it is. Let me see how to find the element first. I think maybe from this point on, I can find this element and delete it. I'm going to go over to the console, get rid of all these errors. I'm going to try to use JavaScript to find this element. That was a class name. Okay, so this function returns a collection. So what we need is probably the first element. Print this out. 
yeah, this looks like the one we want to delete. Car remove. All right, so using this JavaScript code, we can remove the floating layer. Let's do this in Selenium. I'm going to do this in a new code block. Let me maximize this. What we need is to execute this JavaScript code. So try with that, execute script, and then I'm going to copy this in there. Now I want to open the Best Buy page. Okay, I need to relaunch the browser. Okay, I'm missing HTTPS here. Let's do it again. Now I'm going to execute the JavaScript code down here and see if it gets rid of that layer. All right. So that's how you would get rid of a floating layer or some kind of element that's in your way. However, this is not the problem with the menu example. Let me reset this stuff to go back to where we were. Hey guys, if you're learning something so far, please help me out with a like and a subscribe. Now I want to know exactly where Selenium is clicking on. When I run this code, it's going to tell me exactly what Selenium is clicking on. So this is the coordinates. Now how can I tell where this is on the page? In order to do that, I need Chrome Dev Tool. Now notice that when I brought up Chrome Dev Tool, it actually changed the layout of the page. So the coordinates here is no longer valid. I'm going to need to click it again and uh, generate the new coordinates. First, let me rearrange this. Okay. Click it again. Okay, so how do I figure out where on this page these coordinates are? Let me go over to the console. I'm going to paste this JavaScript code in. So what this is doing is using JavaScript to create a new div inside the div. I put the uh, click here text. I'm going to make the div absolute positioning. And then I'm going to put in the pixels, the coordinates here. I'm also making the uh, text red to make it easier to see. And then I'm adding the div to this page. And then I'm just going to scroll to it. Okay, let's hit enter and see what happens. This is where Selenium is clicking, which is correct, right? So Selenium is clicking on where it's supposed to click on, but it's still not working here. For my case, there's something with the scrolling that's screwing up Selenium. Okay, let me refresh the page to get rid of that div that I just added. Let me show you what happens when it clicks from the top of the page, it gives me the exception. But if R12 is already in view, and I try to click it, it works. So there's something in the CSS or the DOM structure that's confusing Selenium. I don't know what it is, but let me show you a almost guaranteed to work way to click on elements. All right, not gonna use this. Maximize the screen. We're going to do what we did earlier, which is to run JavaScript code directly in Selenium. Driver execute script. This arguments index zero refers to this E item right here. So essentially Selenium is executing the click function of this JavaScript object. Let's see it in action. Run the code. This works. Another way to do this and further remove Selenium from the equation is to do this. Let me head over to the console. Similar to before, I'm going to get element by class name using item selector class name. Let me use small quotes instead. That gets all the items here. And we were looking at index 100. So that gets R12, our item R12. Now call click on it. 
and it clicks. Bring this back to VS Code. Now we're doing it purely in JavaScript. Let's run this. And it also works. All right, guys, I hope this video solved your clicking problem. If it did, please help me out with a like and a subscribe. If it did not solve your problem, leave me a comment with some details and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching.